Everyone's using ChatGPT for learning, but hardly anyone is getting the most out of it when it comes to learning a new language. Like, did you know that ChatGPT now has voice and it's going to completely change how we learn languages? Language learning apps like Duolingo, Barbell, and Boozy are hugely popular because learning a new language is a skill that will immediately improve both your personal life and your career. However, all of these apps have limits on their free tiers. So in this video, I wanted to share nine ways that you can use ChatGPT for free right now that will help you to learn a new language as quickly as possible. This is going to feature a mix of my best language learning prompts, as well as ChatGPT plugins, Chrome extensions, and the ChatGPT mobile app to allow voice and audio inputs and responses, which is just super cool and completely free. I've added in a link below in the comments to a cheat sheet containing all of the prompts and tools so that you can try them out for yourself. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive into ChatGPT to learn a new language as fast as possible. One of the problems with learning a new language is that how good you get is often a function of how much time you actually spend practicing. Despite best intentions, if we're going on holiday, we're more likely to download a quick reference app or guide with some essential phrases that help us to get by. ChatGPT can be really helpful here, and you can use the prompt below. Act as a Spanish language tutor. I'm new to learning Spanish. Provide me with 20 must-know phrases in Spanish. Provide translation and pronunciation instructions. And then ChatGPT will give you a list of 20 essential phrases together with the translation and even pronunciation instructions that you can quickly follow. You can also take this to the next level and get even more specific by adding more context, such as provide me with 20 must-know phrases to use in a restaurant. We've seen that ChatGPT can provide some pronunciation instructions already, and for me, nailing pronunciation is one of the hardest things to master when learning any new language. I found that ChatGPT can be super helpful at providing quick breakdowns of keywords or phrases that I might be struggling with. For example, we can use the prompt, you're an experienced Spanish tutor, I'm learning Spanish and I'm having trouble with pronunciation. I will give you a word or phrase, and then you will provide pronunciation instructions. Provide the instructions using phonetics and similar sounding words to help me make pronunciation as easy as possible. The first phrase is me llamo. I find that when you're learning a new language, identifying similar sounding words and understanding language specific sounds and inflections can massively speed up your learning and ensure that you're pronouncing things correctly. Learning a language isn't just about memorizing vocab and theory. For me, actually practicing speaking in real time is the best way to get good really quickly. The problem is that by default, ChatGPT only allows for text input and to practice a language, we need to speak to it directly and listen to it talk back to us in real time. Luckily, this is totally possible with the help of some cool Chrome extensions, and here's an example of one in action. Bonjour. Comment ça va aujourd'hui? Bonjour. Je m'appelle Alex. Enchanté de vous rencontrer, Alex. D'où venez-vous? To add voice to ChatGPT, there are a couple of extensions that we can use. Now, I've tried out all of the ones available on the Chrome store, and I'll walk you through how to install and use the two that I consider to be the best ones. So the first extension is called VoiceWave, and to install it, you just need to head over to the Chrome store and search for it by name, and then hit Add to Chrome. If you now head back over to ChatGPT, you'll see that these little audio buttons have appeared next to the chat bar. You'll need to allow microphone permissions, and then you can use a prompt that starts a role play in whichever language that you're using. So as we can see, ChatGPT now we out the response and we can press the mic button on the right side of the chat bar to respond in real time and then ChatGPT will answer back to us. VoiceWave has some really cool settings with lots of customization and my top tip here is to make sure that the voice is set to the language you want to learn so that the accent and pronunciation are native. The other Chrome extension I found that was really great is called Voice Control for ChatGPT. To install it, head back over to the Chrome store and hit that Add to Chrome button and remember to allow those mic permissions. Voice Control has the language settings right next to the large press to talk button, making it much simpler to use than VoiceWave. It still has some pretty cool settings though, and for me, both of these worked really well and allowed me to have a conversation in different languages, just like you might in an app like Duolingo or with a language tutor. Now, as we'll see, if we stack these together with some prompts, you can get real-time feedback and even more. For example, if we go back to our original essential phrases prompt, we now also get the audio pronunciation and remember, because our brains process auditory and written information via separate pathways, there's no extra cognitive load and reading the words while listening to the audio will actually help you to learn really, really quickly. Okay, so I love learning languages on mobile as it's super convenient and I can jump into apps like Duolingo for a quick 
10 minutes where I can talk into my phone or work through a quick lesson. The really cool thing is that we can actually do this all with ChatGPT for free on mobile, and it's even easier with the new ChatGPT app. And you can get results just like this. Let's walk through how to set this up on your phone. On iOS, we're gonna head over to settings and accessibility and click on spoken content. On Android, you'll want to go to accessibility and then speak and read. For iOS, we're gonna hit the speech controller button and switch on show controller and ensure that double tap speak on touch is enabled. On Android, it's select to speak and then switching on the shortcut and enabling read in background. You can now set your reading speed and even choose the voice of the language you want to use. Now, I didn't even know that this was a thing on iOS and I ended up spending way too much time going down a rabbit hole listening to the different voices that you could download. So try and avoid that. Now, if you have the ChatGPT app, the next bit is super simple. You just open up the app and enter your initial prompt and then you can use voice controller to tap on the response that you want to read out and it will even detect the language. As we've enabled double tap, you can just double tap to activate tap to speak. When responding, you can then use the microphone in the ChatGPT app, which uses OpenAI's Whisper speech to text so that you can have a full conversation. Hola, ¿cómo estás hoy? Listo para nuestro ejercicio de rol en español. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you don't have the ChatGPT app, that's not a problem, but there is an extra step involved. You'll need to head over to your keyboard settings, which is within the general settings tab on iOS, and enable dictation, as well as any additional keyboard languages that you might want to use. On Android, you'll need to go to languages and input, and then on-screen keyboard and Gboard, and then enable voice typing. Once that's all done, you can just type in chat.openai.com into your browser and head directly over to Chat. GPT, and you'll then be able to access the microphone button on the keyboard to speak to ChatGPT directly. So now we have voice activated in ChatGPT, we can dive straight into some role plays. ChatGPT really comes into its own here, and its translation features and GPT-4's added creativity means that you can quickly set up a variety of language role plays. By using variables in our prompt, we can switch up the language and the scenario, and then chat in real time. The really cool thing here is that ChatGPT can correct any mistakes in our native tongue to really speed up our learning. For example, we can use the prompt, you're a language tutor. You are to conduct a role play in whatever language it is you want to learn with me. In the role play, you are, and then make up your own scenario, such as someone being a tour guide and you being an English tourist. Wait for my response before asking each question individually. Only speak in the language you're learning, and after each of my responses, provide a brief critique in English, and then continue the conversation in the language you're learning. Begin by greeting me, and then wait for my response. Here's a quick but super effective language learning prompt. One of the best ways to learn a language quickly is by reading a book in the language and figuring things out as you go along. If you know the story already, this works really, really effectively. ChatGPT can translate any text into your own language to help you quickly learn the new language or translate it into the language that you're learning. If you have an ebook or website open, you can copy and paste the text in and see it translated in real time. For example, we can use the prompt translate the following text into French and then copy and paste in whatever it is you want to learn. Simple. A great way to test your comprehension of a new language is to use higher order to learning techniques to actually try and write out a few paragraphs of text without any reference material at all. ChatGPT can help you out here by acting as your own personal tutor, correcting and simplifying your grammar and vocab. We can use the prompt, I want you to act as an English translator, spelling corrector and improver. I will speak to you in any language and you will detect the language and translate it and then answer in the corrected and improved version of my text. I want you to replace the simplified words and sentences with the higher level words in that language. Keep the meaning the same. Respond Respond with the correction, the improvements, and nothing else. And don't write any explanations. My first sentence is, and then paste in whatever it is you're wanting to translate. And remember, you can use voice controls here too, to talk about a topic like you might in a language oral exam, and then get feedback from ChatGPT directly. Creating language vocab flashcards is helpful, but it can be really, really time consuming. You can ask ChatGPT to bulk create flashcard questions and answers in a spreadsheet format that you can then copy to practice your basic vocab. For example, we can use the prompt topic and then add in whatever you'd like, such as French sporting verbs, and then ask ChatGPT to create a two column spreadsheet with questions and corresponding answers on the topic above. You can then put in question and answer. Now identifying missing words is a quick way to test for comprehension. It's especially helpful for languages. 
languages. Duolingo even uses it. ChatGPT can quickly create missing word content to save you time. We can use the prompt topic and then add in whatever topic it is you're learning. I want you to act as a fill in the blank worksheet generator for students learning the above topic. Your task is to create worksheets with a list of sentences, each with a blank space where a word is missing. The student's task is then to fill in the blank with the correct word from a provided list of options. The sentences should be grammatically correct and appropriate for students at an intermediate level learning the language above. Your worksheet should not include any explanations or additional instructions, just the list of sentences and word options. To get started, please provide me with a list of words and sentences containing a blank space where one of the words should be inserted. Learning a new language like learning anything is a journey with ups and downs. When we consider a topic to be difficult, it's often because it's new and we can't connect it to any pre-existing knowledge. A good teacher will often break things down into simple terms and use analogies that we're familiar with to speed up our understanding. ChatGPT can do all of these things and help you to more quickly understand hard topics within any languages. For example, if we're learning a very different language to English like Japanese, we can use the prompt, you're a learning expert specializing in the above language that I'm struggling with. Provide me with some mental models or analogies to help me understand and remember this difficult language. Firstly, explain things in simple terms. Secondly, provide mental models or analogies to help me learn the topic. Thirdly, provide some quick example exercises or questions that I can practice with you to help me aid my understanding. And fourthly, break the topic down into simple components. Ask me if I understand each step and then help me if I run into any difficulties. Modern RP or modern received pronunciation is the standard British accent and way of speaking. It's basically how I'm speaking right now as opposed to something more like American or Australian sounding. And it's also the words used themselves. I might use a word like rubbish instead of the American version trash. So by choosing your words and phrases more carefully, you can sound more British if you're trying to learn English. In addition to word choice, it's also about how you enunciate your words and how you pronounce things like vowels and consonants and your spoken tone. For example, I might say something like bottle of water with a glossal stop on the T rather than something like bottle of water, although I literally have a hard time even doing that myself. To help you improve your British accent using ChatGPT, we can use a prompt like this. You're a language and accent expert specializing in teaching modern received pronunciation. I will provide you with some phrases that I'm struggling to pronounce in British RP. Provide me with tips and a phonetic breakdown to help me improve my accent. Now, I have a great video about how to improve your ChatGPT GPT prompt engineering, which I'll pop up over here. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video and do let me know any other ways that you're using ChatGPT to learn languages in the comments below. Remember all the prompts and links I've added down below too. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing. Do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.